Hello YouTube, Stefan from Rip City Base Works, and this is the uh, second part of the D710 video. Um, this one is how to flash 7.1.2 NuGet. Uh, if you have not watched uh, the uh, part one, uh, installing Android 4.4.4 KitKat, then you must watch that. This is a direct sequel to the video, so I'm assuming you've already completed all those steps. Um, as per usual, uh, download and uh, unzip all the files in the description. And now we're going to be copying some files over to the D710. So you're going to want to uh, go into USB mass storage mode. And then once that's turned on, uh, you want to go to your PC and uh, go to the D710 NuGet folder that you just unzipped. And you're going to want to copy over uh, the launch on kernel for the D710 as, as well as the uh, uh, TWRP patcher and the uh, TWRP image and that should be it on oh, the repit file and just copy all of those over to wherever on the device I'm just putting it in download because that's the convenient place Oh, and if I didn't mention, uh, this will completely wipe your phone, so if you have anything important on there, back it up. If not, you're good to go. Um, and delete everything, pictures, um, files, whatever. Okay, so now you're going to want to turn off mass storage mode, so I just eject it from the PC, and then turn it off. And then once that's done, you're going to want to uh, power off the device and boot up into uh, recovery mode. So we are going to flash the uh, the uh, current the uh, ISO rec kernel so that we can continue from there. So to boot into recovery mode, you just need to uh, hold volume up and power at the same time, and then release power as soon as the Samsung logo appears. And it should boot into Clockwork Mod. Um, if it does not, then you are going to want to watch the previous video again. Okay, now you're going to want to install Zip. And you're going to go to internal storage, and you're going to want to choose the uh, ISO rec kernel, kernel launch on trim ISO rec, that one. Then once you install this, you're going to want to reboot the system. Okay, now we are going to install Flashify, and that is what we're going to use to flash the uh, TWRP uh, image file. And this will, this version of a uh, TWRP will allow us to flash i ninety one, uh, i ninety yeah i ninety one hundred ROMs. So that's how we're going to install uh, seven point one point two. And make sure you have unknown sources checked. And you're going to want to grant this root access once it prompts, of course. Okay, and you're going to want to choose recovery image. And make sure you choose uh, whatever file manager you flash. The built-in one does not work for 4.4.4. And then choose the uh, TWRP 3.1.0 image file and the file way. And then, yep. And now you want to reboot immediately. And this will boot directly into recovery. And swipe to allow modifications. 
Now you're going to want to do a uh, factory reset. Okay, now you're going to want to install the uh, CWRP patcher. So this is so you can uh, re revert back to uh, KitKat if something goes wrong. Because this is a uh, i9100 TWRP, so you need to be able to patch it. So you can still install D710 ROMs. And now for the fun part, this is what's going to wipe everything. So. Your this, this error is normal. You want to go up all the way to root level. And there's going to be a temp folder towards the bottom. And at the very bottom is where it uh, unzips to. Now this is a very long process. I believe that took about um, 20 minutes or so. So now you're going to want to uh, move some files into platform tools to prepare. And we're going to use a uh, ADB side load. So just the uh, Resurrection Remix is the ROM we're using, as you'll soon see why. Uh, and then OpenG apps, and then Super SU if you want it. Well, not yeah, not Super SU, the uh, built-in Lineage OS root add-on. Okay, now you're going to want to use ADB side load, and you're going to want to copy the name of the uh, file and have it, all of the commands linked in the description also. So we're doing Resurrection Remix first, so just copy that or just copy it from the description of the video. And it's going to be adb sideload and then the file name .zip. And this takes a while also, probably 5 to 10 minutes, maybe even 20. Okay, and next you're going to want to do the same thing with uh, OpenG apps. Make sure you have ARM. I'll just use the one I have in the down in the uh, in the files that I linked in the description. And you're going to, want to do the same thing. Uh, just start an ADB side load on the phone, and then you're going to want to copy the file name or just copy the command from the description and ADB side load file name dot zip. And this takes even longer than the ROM, so again, 10 minutes or so. Okay, and finally, this one's optional. You can flash the uh, Lineage OS add-on if you want root. So same process yet again, open a ADB side load and advanced settings of TWRP. And you're going to want to copy the file name, ADB side load, file name.zip. And don't try to flash Super SU or anything like that, or um, Magisk, none, none of that's supported in this, so don't even try. It's just going to brick, it's not brick your phone, but it's going to cause issues with startup. So here we have it. I fast. I uh, skip straight to uh, boot up. So I'm just verifying this is indeed Android 7.1.2 NuGet. And it says i9100 exists in i9100 ROM. You can change that in build.prop if you want. I don't really see a need to though. Now, unfortunately, this there are many, uh, not many, but there's a couple of major bugs in this. So. What I'm going to do first is show you how to enable root access. So go to developer settings, and then there should be a tab for root access, and choose whatever you want for root access. And then I'm just going down to uh, make it less laggy. I'm going to um, change the animation scale. Okay, so the bugs in this ROM. So Wi-Fi doesn't work. Um, mobile data, calls and texts do not work. This does not support CDMA. Uh, it would require officially porting this ROM for the D710, which I don't know if that'll ever happen or not. 
and the hardware buttons don't work, but that one luckily is a workaround. That's why I chose Resurrection Remix. Uh, we can enable the uh, software keys, which I'm about to do right now. So I'm just demonstrating that Wi-Fi does not work. It just is stuck on turning Wi-Fi on. And um, the MAC address is not available. It's just the generic one. And IMEI is not available either. Uh, I tried doing the uh, multiple EFS folder backup and restore methods, but that did not work. Um, I tried flashing uh, i9100 modem. That did not work, of course. <laughs> uh, so now I'm just enabling the navigation bar and I recommend if you enable a navigation bar disable the hardware keys to prevent any uh, glitches and uh, surprisingly location so GPS works with this ROM and uh, Bluetooth also works surprisingly which I don't think I showed Bluetooth but it does work the ROM altogether is surprisingly stable for just being a uh, uh, i9100 ROM just booted onto a D710. It's pretty impressive, actually. If um, someone can get Wi-Fi working, um, it's would be great for a media player or whatever.